To impede is to know when enough is, or so we thought. The command of what to do when it is necessary is to identify who we are. It is to act upon the decision making between the cradles that rock the tick tock hour of desperation. To the child who sleeps alone at night, to the mother who whispers tears at a ghostly photo, to the blind father excusably crafted to protect, but he cannot. To the dancer that acknowledges the sounds wary of our breathing. To the lover who overlooks the tomorrows and forgets to rescue the todays. We watched the fireworks explode above the rooftops of our home and the village shuddered as their tanks shake us as our dreams are awoken. They watched as our home, as our homeless veins imploded into the wide rifts of the every right to return. The roof of our home is high above the olive tree covered ground and we see lights and we hear thumps and we feel false unity as the wind brushes the hair from my olive colored shoulders. Fireworks explode and the neighbor's house lights up. Anguished as their home burns on a temple of concealment. Lips sealed and we yell and we try and we carry and we hold and we comfort and we ask and we stare and we fall, clenching our fists, but our lips are not sealed, but we do not hear us. Remove your hands from your ears and listen to the crackling of burning furniture. Listen to the traveling of pillow bags filled with unfinished livelihoods and entire chunks of forgotten forthcoming generations. And we will be. Abound to prayer and bend your knees. Pray as your lungs collect the black dust and slowly swallow the stains of blood. Lift your hands and look up. Eventually, we will march playing the music of our grandparents' childhood. We will not plead. Damn it, we will not beg. With the natural light of separation and remarriage, we'll be detailed by the footsteps of one in awe. Turn around, turn. Our faces say, and our words say, I will follow you, the patent ground we run on for the ground we are forbidden to run towards is broken, or so we think. We do not own metaphysical power yet, I will follow you. Together the tears we cried swam past the international waters and into the homes of him and her. But the wind, the wind carried it past the burrows of history and our tears came back home to us deeply rooted in the pouches of our deepened souls, a revolution of human souls. And I will follow you, and you will follow me. To the mother wondering about her imprisoned child, to that child wondering about the cancer that will soon kill his mother, to that cancer who only knew levels of hatred, to that hatred that runs oh so deep, to the dancer that acknowledges the sounds wary of our breathing. Dance, float as your limbs, dance in the patterns of only decades, rise and fall. I just only ask of you one thing, turn around and demand to live the stories of your grandparents rather than it be told to you over and over and over again.